Okay, what's up guys? So, you can see this is uh, quite a nice scene, but it's very simple. Let's say we want to add a human model. So, the problem with that is that it's either you're going to pay a lot of money for it, or it's hard to find free human models. So, what I'm going to do is, for these kind of foggy, misty scenes, I'm going to show you like a hack for bringing in models into these kind of scenes that you don't need as much detail, and... The model is kind of far away so let me show you how to do it first thing you want to do is enable so go to edit preferences go here type search and then type in images as planes this one enable it okay and save it okay so now what you want to do is type in silhouette hopefully i'll spell it right yeah PNG. Okay, and you can see now we can go here to images, and then what you want to do is pick something that's full body. So you can pick this one, pick this one, and then right click save. Okay, I've already got one saved. Okay, now what you want to do is it's pretty easy actually. So, okay, what you want to do is go Shift A and go down to image and click here images as planes, and then find the one that you saved. So mine is here. Click on it and then hit emit import. And now this is what comes up. So what you can do is go G and then scale it up. And then you can see I can move it around. And if I do this, look how easy that was. So you can always then scale it up, scale it down, G, bring it up. Obviously then you need to adjust the size of the tree because it looks funny now. But you can see there, and then if I want, let's just hide this cube. And then go here, go to Z, make sure that this is selected, hit G, and bring it back. You can bring it all the way to the tree. Like that, G, click it. Bring the cube back and now let's have a look and it looks even better because it's further away you can see i can even then just move him around and if i render the image you can see you can see you don't even know that that's actually a, literally an image that you've just put there in the, the render you think it's a model so let's go here exit okay like i said this won't really work with close-ups and like daylight scene so but i thought i'd share this with you guys so you can add these to your moody cinematic scenes without having to worry about downloading models and also making your render faster also less laggy on your computer so make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in the next video